Hello all. Welcome to the uh, last lecture of uh, section 3.9 that is the iterative methods for solving integral equations of second kind. In this uh, method we discuss a problem uh, for uh, using uh, we will discuss this uh, or we will find the solution uh, by using the iterative method. We have already covered the um, theory part of both uh, um, the method for Volterra equation and uh, Fredholm integral equation by the uh, of the iterative method and the conditions for which it has a um, continuous solution. It will give a uh, continuous solution in each case. Now uh, the problem is uh, solve the integral equation y of x is equal to 1 plus lambda integral 0 to 1 1 minus 3 x theta y theta d theta by using the iterative method. The given integral equation is a Fredholm non-homogeneous Fredholm integral equation of the second kind. So it is uh, in, we can apply the iterative method for finding the solution. First of all, identify the functions f of x and k of x theta. So here f of x is equal to 1 and k of x theta is the kernel is 1 minus 3 x theta. And in the iterative method, we have to um, uh, we have to introduce one integral operator k kappa for the Fredholm integral equation uh, kappa in such a way that or it is defined as kappa of f of x is equal to integral a to b k of x theta f theta d theta. So here f of x is one. We so we have kappa f x equal to integral a to b or 0 to 1. So, integral a to b means it is 0 to 1, 1 minus 3x theta into 1 d theta. f of theta is 1 d theta. Then, uh, first we in for this method, we have to by heart the form of the solution also. y of x, the solution will be in the form f of x plus uh, summation n equal to uh, 1 to infinity. Uh, n equal to 1 to infinity lambda raised to n kappa n of f of x and this solution this will give a continuous solution provided mod lambda is less than 1 by m into b minus a so here it is m is uh, okay that we will calculate later so first of all the solution is in this form uh, f y of x is equal to f x plus uh, summation uh, n equal to 1 to infinity k n of x uh, sorry n equal to 1 to infinity lambda raised to n kappa n of f of x so we have to determine what is kappa n of f of x for that uh, first we calculate kappa of x by the definition of kappa so kappa of x is integral 0 to 1 in uh, 1 minus 3 x theta into 1 d theta integrating this with respect to theta, we can consider x as a constant. So, the first term will be theta and minus 3x into integral theta is theta square by 2 within the limits 0 to 1. Then applying the upper and lower limits, we have uh, kappa of fx is equal to 1 minus 3 by 2 x. Keep it as equation number 3. And kappa square of f of x is kappa of kappa of fx. Uh, that is kappa of uh, kappa fx is 1 minus 3 by 2x. So substitute that one here. So by definition of kappa, we have kappa square f equal to integral 0 to 1 k of x theta. Now kappa of f of theta. So that is uh, kappa of 1 minus 3 by 2 theta. Kappa of 1 minus 3 by 2 theta. Um, sorry, uh, f of theta is. 1 minus 3 by 2 theta d theta. So this will be equal to 1 minus 3 x theta. K of x theta is 1 minus 3 x theta into 1 minus 3 by 2 theta d theta. Then uh, expanding the uh, product here we have uh, 1 minus 3 by 2 theta uh, plus 9 by 2 x theta square minus 3 x theta. Integrating we will get theta minus 3 by 4 theta square plus 9 by 2 x into theta cube by 3 minus 3 x into theta square by 2 within the limits 0 to 1. So uh, applying the limits we will get um, 
1 minus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 x minus 3 by 2 x. So that will get will cancel. Then 1 minus 3 by 4 is 1 by 4. So kappa square f we obtain it as uh, 1 by 4. Then kappa cube of x is kappa of kappa square f. Kappa square f is 1 by 4. So kappa of 1 by 4. Kappa of 1 by 4 by definition integral 0 to 1. K of x theta that is 1 minus 3x theta into f of theta that is 1 by 4 d theta. So this will be 1 by 4 into again integral 0 to 1. 1 minus 3x theta d theta. So that from uh, equation number 3 we have. 1 minus 3 by 2x. So, kappa cube of f of x we will obtain as 1 by 4 into uh, 1 minus 3 by 2x. So, we can uh, see one pattern in this one. Now, kappa raised to 4 of f will be kappa of kappa cube of f. Kappa cube f is 1 by 4 into 1 minus 3 by 2x. So, this will be 1 by 4 into kappa of 1 minus 3 by 2x. That will be same as uh, that we obtained as kappa square x that is 1 by 4. So, this will be 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 that is kappa 4 of f equal to 1 by 4 square. Now we can see that kappa raised to 6 of f will be 1 by 4 cube and kappa raised to 8 of f will be 1 by 4 raised to 4 like that. And uh, kappa of x is 1 minus 3 by 2x. Kappa cube of x is 1 by 4 into 1 minus 3 by 2x. Then kappa 5 of x will be 1 by 4 square into uh, 1 minus 3x by 2 like this. So, uh, we can try the solution. Equation number, uh, let this be star. So, the solution is given by y of x is equal to fx plus lambda kappa of x, fx plus lambda square kappa of fx. Expanding the sum uh, sigma notation, we will obtain this infinite series. Now, apply the values. So, f of x is 1, 1 plus lambda into uh, kappa of fx, 1 minus 3x by 2 plus lambda square, kappa square of fx is 1 by 4. So, lambda square by 4, then plus lambda cube into kappa cube of f of x is 1 by 4 into 1 minus 3x by 4. So, lambda uh, cube by 4 into 1 minus 3x by 2 plus uh, lambda raised to lambda square by 4 whole square plus lambda raised to 5 by 4 square into 1 minus 3x by 2 like that. Now we uh, group the terms. First we take the first term 1, then the third term lambda square by 4, uh, then the fifth term lambda square by 4 the whole square, then uh, seventh term that is lambda square uh, by 4 the whole cube plus etc. Then uh, the remaining terms, all the remaining terms contains lambda into 1 minus 3x by 2 as a common factor. The second, uh, second, fourth, sixth the terms. That means in the second term lambda, the second term itself is lambda into 1 minus 3x by 2. So when we take an it as common outside from all the even terms, we have lambda into 1 minus 3x by 2 into first term will be 1. Then um, in the fourth term, the re things remaining is uh, lambda square by 4 uh, then plus in the um, sixth term that is uh, lambda square by 4 the whole square um, plus etc. So we can see that in the both the expressions are again common that is 1 plus the there is an infinite series common in these two terms 1 plus lambda square by 4 plus lambda square by 4 whole square plus etc. This is an infinite GP with the, the common ratio as lambda square by 4. So this infinite series uh, converges only if uh, mode R is less than 1 or mode lambda square by 4 is less than 1 or mode lambda is less than 2. So, uh, taking the uh, infinite series as common, we can have uh, y of x as 
y of x is equal to 1 plus lambda square by 4 plus lambda square by 4 whole square plus etc into in the first term there is 1 and plus lambda into 1 minus 3x by 2 and uh, name it as equation number 6. So the this will be the uh, form of the solution but we can uh, we know that the left uh, the first the first factor in this product of the right hand side is an infinite geometric series and with the common ratio uh, lambda square by 4 and this series is convergent uh, when a mode lambda is less than 2 and in that case the infinite sum of a gp is given by we know that the first term by 1 minus r first term here it is 1 so 1 by 1 minus r that is lambda square by 4 so this will be the uh, sum of the series infinite series so instead of the series we can apply the sum here uh, in equation number 6 so the solution will become when mode lambda is less than 2 the solution is given by y of x is equal to 1 plus lambda into 1 minus 3x by 2 by 1 minus lambda square by 4 which is defined or valid for lambda uh, not equal to plus or minus 2 or uh, we defined for all values of lambda except lambda equal to plus or minus 2. So this is the uh, solution of the uh, uh, integral equation uh, using the iterative method given integral equation using iterative method. The next problem is consider the integral equation y of x is equal to lambda integral 0 to 1 x theta y theta d theta plus 1. The first thing we have to do is show that the iterative procedure of section 3.9 will converge when mode lambda is less than 3. So first of all we have to uh, find here also f of x is equal to 1 k of x theta is x theta. And in the first, for the first method, we need to show that the series converge. The solution, we will obtain a solution if uh, mode lambda is less than 3. Okay. Then, um, uh, show that the iterative procedure leads formally to the expression. And um, we need to show that the series in the lambda, uh, the infinite series in lambda was given by the expression y of x equal to 1 plus x into lambda by 2 plus lambda square by 6 plus lambda cube by 18 plus etc. The given equation is also a non-homogeneous Fredholm integral equation. And finally, we need to prove that uh, we need to show that the uh, say, uh, using the section 3.6 that means method of separable kernels we have to find the uh, exact solution in the form y of x is equal to 1 plus uh, 3 lambda x by 2 into 3 minus lambda. Now do the uh, three things a, b and c with the same with the integral equation y of x is equal to lambda into integral 0 to 1 x plus theta y theta d theta plus 1. So here the kernel is changed, kernel is x plus theta which is also a separable kernel. So we have to repeat the uh, ABC cases with the, uh, this integral equation. That is problem number 3. And in the problem 4 also, the integral equation, we have to do, uh, do all the similar things with the, uh, the equation as y of x is equal to sin x plus lambda integral 0 to 2 pi cos of x plus theta y theta d theta. And uh, here capital F of x. In the last case capital F of x is sin x and k of x theta is cos of x plus theta. And we know that cos of x plus theta, uh, the kernel, uh, if the kernel is cos of x plus theta, that is also a separable kernel because uh, we know cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So using that relation we can separate the um, kernel or we can uh, do the um, method that described in section 3.6 for the c part for the c part problem. 
okay so try to do these problems as we done the first one okay let's stop here thank you thank you all